Hey, YouTube, and I'm Brick Smith, and welcome to the BBN. Big Book of Nation. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. As always, it was my beautiful wife, who without this, nothing would be possible. Oh, I got my... Bucket. Yeah, we got buckets. Buckets for days, everybody. Like, I got my, my sticker on my bucket. Get it. <laughs> I don't have a bucket. Yeah. I don't know where it's at, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 there you go. Don't mess up your hair, Brick Adjuster. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> oh. Aww. Both. All right, wow. full house. Somebody's trying to get in. Sorry. Right. Wow. Maddie's oh. got a bucket ish. Can you tell who it is that's trying to get in? I cannot. Maddie yeah. has a lid. Yes, yeah, she does. I put a lid on it. She has the mall lids to buy that. She has the vinyl. <laughs> She has a vinyl. She put the vinyl on her forehead. Anyway. Oh, there you go, DJ. DJ. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Nailed it. That's the way to oh, do it. Oh, man. These kids. So creative these days. Right. You, should have, you should have it swipe and have flex tape on the next. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny. Yes, it oh, would. Real quick in the chat, we got Dave Morgan, Fazoom, Titanium J. Lego Captain Rex saying late. Dude Jude. Dude Jude. Uh, Dude Jude. Dude Jude. Ken Marlow Briggs. I join, but I have a 60 pound lap dog on my lap, so I can't move. I understand, sir. I am a 60 pound. Hey, lap. Moto. Wait, my Moto and like Moto. 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 What's like going on? Hey, hey Moto. <laughs> and everyone else. Hello. There's Moto sticker. Heck yeah. I got oh, Moto's cool. face in here somewhere. There's Seth Land. What's up, Seth? Red Carnage. Red Carnage. Red Carnage. The fact that you have Moto's face somewhere is uh, slightly yeah. disturbing out of context. He's, actually, I think he's in one of these suitcases. Yep, that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got Moto's face in my suitcase. <laughs> well, good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Moto face. Moto face. Yeah, I know, right? Riveting, riveting uh, YouTube, right? This is it. This is it. Ooh, ooh, all right, anyway. Can't find his face. So, let's go down the line. Oh. Sunday the street, sort of. But I'll hang in here as long as possible. Right on, brother. We appreciate you, man. line, or? <laughs> I don't want to stand up against a wall, Julian. I'm just saying. Ah. <laughs> Let's start with our with our new friend who's in here for the first time. This is Rich. Everybody, say hi to Rich. Hey, hi, Rich. Hi, hi Rich. Rich. Hi. He has an hi. ABS addiction too. <laughs> I am a Lego fanatic, and this is how I express myself. <laughs> I, I actually recently moved. I recently I'm moved to uh, Pennsylvania. And I bought a place where I could do a display and have storage and maybe sell some things. That won't be until like next year to sell things. But I might have a display up before the end of this year. Who knows? Excellent. Mm. And uh, you're all invited to come see. Now, Rich, uh, I don't know if you heard, but as of today, Brick Fair Virginia is still on. Oh. Yeah. Wow. When is that? Looking good. He said he's going to make an official announcement. Huh? Fourth, I think. He said he. Uh, Brittany said he will officially decide on May first. Oh, May first. May first. Hmm. So it's there you go. Coming. Huh? The decision is coming. Yes. Uh, by the way, Rich has lost more Lego in the couch than we own. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. He has more Lego in his pockets than we own. Yes. yes. Did, did, did you want to? Did you want me to let the the people at home see what's going on? Here? Absolutely. Turn sure. the camera. Okay. Do, it. Yeah, do, it. do it. So do it. Do it. Do. So this is all bulk Lego bricks and plates and things like snap and saucers and you know castle wall panels and stuff and this is smaller parts this rainbow bin filled. this will all be filled soon these are the very small parts that i lovingly made sure i didn't nice. lose any 
on the move. I just finally got these up here yesterday, uh, reconfiguring what I had set up. And then it goes around the other side here. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> Holy okay. cow. Uh, eventually, there might even be another row of these here. Yeah. With, uh, Whoa. And that, with uh, okay. shelves behind it so that I can you know, store my buildings when they're not out on the layout, which will be here. Is that a television? Yes. Oh, that's huge. That's a small one. Well, it's a larger, <laughs> small one. A small, large one. <laughs> the big one's upstairs. Yes, it is. That's true. Uh, and then around the uh, outer area would be where I'd sell stuff. You can see one of my push-out display areas. That's another one. I'm it's no bed in there, but uh, oh, no, it's a curtain. In here is a push out. I made this for Brick Fair last year and it never made it. Oh. And it's kind of based on uh it's two Forbidden Islands, but it was kind of based on the Lego Barracuda shipwreck thing. Nice. I thought, well, I've got two Forbidden Islands that I got in a um you know in a qu acquisition. I can just put them together and Rick dudes. Yeah, it is. I can just make more forbidden islands per capita than anybody else on the. I think I have three. I think I have <laughs> yeah, <three>. see. <laughs> because I like pirates. Yeah, pirates. They're cool. Yeah, pirates are cool. The pirates are cool. What is that, that thing behind that you, tour, man? That was excellent. That's what is that stack? What is that stack behind you? It's like a stack of brown. Yeah, that's the dead hitchhikers. Like, it's uh, wrapped in a ribbon. It's it's on that black bin. Oh, you don't want to know about that. That's bad stuff. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Mega box. Yes, the dead yes. hitchhikers. Yes, dead hitchhikers molded <laughs> into plastic. You don't want to know about that. Okay. Nice. That may or may not be a display here someday. Nice. All right, right, let's go on to somebody on else real quick. See what uh, Jason up, is doing. This guy. Hey Jason, I am, uh, I'm, nice I'm building shirt. things to see. Thank you, thank you. It's Pink Bug Nation for the cure. Very nice. Uh, so I, I built this poly bag already. Is done. Okay. It's right here. <laughs> is that a new torso? Uh, no, no, it's um, it's the same one that um. Oh, I see uh, it. Yeah, I've seen that one. Oh my god, well, I can't think of his name. I can't and either. He's down in um. He's from Australia. Australia. And I got yeah. a sick pig up there. But yeah, it's the same torso he used. Uh, and then uh, now I'm going to be working on this one. Uh, it won't be near as cool as what Fazoom did with it, but you know, nothing usually is as cool as what Fazoom does. No. Uh -huh. And then I have this uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. That's cool. With a monkey. I had a monkey. Monkey. Oh, I thought you said make. Mm -hmm. No, just save the chicken. All I want is the damn chicken. Okay. Chicken. Okay. Help the chicken. <laughs> uh, real quick, everybody, if you take a look at Jason's shirt. Uh, it is in my um, Spreadshirt shop. All proceeds that would go to my pocket go to the Susan G. Coleman. So uh, go out and buy one now or five. Shop.spreadshirt.com slash Pink Bucket Nation. Can't miss it. That's all I'm saying. And if you're going to purchase from it. You're gonna I know, purchase. I like, it's just a normal name. What is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If you're going to purchase something from my store, I say, I say buy that. But... Moving on to uh, Dave. Dave. So it's it's uh, story time, but I'll make it really quick. Okay. Um, I am clean, was cleaning up my Lego room today, trying to make some more room for other stuff, and was moving all of my uh, unopened sets downstairs to where my city is. And when I did that, I discovered a mock that I had been about maybe 60 or 70% through that I forgot. I stopped building it because I, was, it, I needed tons of foliage parts, and I had none. Now I have a lot. So, yeah, so, so earlier today, I was working on um, building trees. This is one that I built a long time ago. It kind of fell apart, so it's in disrepair right now. But this one is using um, uh, hinge, well, clip, clip and handle pieces to make the branches. But one of the things that drives me nuts about trees is how easily they fall apart. So today I was building this one, and this one I put this flex tubing inside the trunk to uh, hold it all together. And 
Yeah, so far. And then I'm using the technique. Th this also started, Julian, because of the treehouse build that we did, nice. where you know they put all the uh, the, the uh, branches together um, using the little. Um, let's see got, here. Well, using the little. Using the little. You can't really see it. Unlike but, everybody it, else, I'm going to interrupt you, Dave, and ask you what's wrong with using this. Because yeah, I was thinking about that too. <laughs> the um, technique. And I think I'm longer than this. Yeah, nothing. Nothing is wrong with that. Okay, I just, I'm just asking because I, I knew everybody else was going to ask the same question. No, Dave yeah. was thinking outside the box. I'm. I guess part of it is I have a lot more of that tubing than I do of long um, axles, and furthermore, the axles are whatever length they are. The tubing you can cut to whatever length you want. That's true. Yeah. Is that but, official uh, Lego tubing? Hey, hey, hey! Uh -oh. No, it's one of the only uh -oh. things I use that isn't official Lego tubing. Oh, but uh, hey, pardon me. You lose me so, but uh, yeah. Well, the official Lego tubing is expensive, and and you can't get it in large lengths either. I don't think. I have to cut it sometimes too. But uh, mm. but yeah, Julian. This I thought this technique was cool. Where they that was a great technique. Mm. So yeah. So I'm now I'm going to rebuild this and use multiple colors of leaves, um, and like maybe it. add some of the the handle pieces to make the branches flexible and see what I end up with. I dig it. So that's what I've been working on. Like so where's, where's that tree going to go? That tree is going to go on a mock that is a secret at the moment. Oh, okay. it, it's, oh. a scener, it's a scenery type mock. I do like <laughs> the fact that you just threw that uh, the build we did last week. It's back there in the corner. Yep. Just, yep. It's whatever. It's in a box. Don't worry about it, everybody. Don't right, mind right, that. Right, right, right there. <laughs> there we go. It's the tree house. Who it's cares? <laughs> what we got on our list? We got... Ladies and gentlemen, oh, one of two Canadians in the room. Chris, I can do it too. Hey, Canadians. <laughs> Canadians. It's Brigham Jester, everybody. How you doing, Brigham Jester? Good, good. Uh, so so this, week, this week I finished my, my video habitats. I've been working on, for the bandmates, I've been working on the, um, the habitats for the different bandmates. Nice. Uh, I've been posting some of them on Instagram. I could show you how it looks if i turn this Absolutely. around yeah we have a we have a contest on that smash steel one for to win our contest that would be when great. did it when did it start the contest uh i don't think it actually officially has or maybe oh, it has okay. i don't know let me go closer okay i need to steal oh. i need, to, need steal to steal bird <laughs> Uh, Brigham Jester does an occasional um, Lego room update. So if you want to see what he's got up it's close and personal, dark. you can go over there and look at it. There's the shark singer. Oh, that's then, awesome. Uh, that's cool. Cotton candy cheerleader is like on a cheerleading competition. Sweet. Then ah. we got the ice cream saxophonist in his jazz bar. Yeah. And we those, got uh, the, those, uh, those other two are from the ice cream truck. The, uh, Lego movie one ice cream. Truck, oh, right? you know, because you've been yeah, building. Baby, yeah. You know it. You the most. <laughs> um, this is um, the alien guitarist in his hangar. Nice. Then the red panda. It looks like an orange fox. I always think it's an orange fox, but it's a red panda dancing. Nice. Then we got the, um, the werewolf. This is supposed to be like a, a busker scene. He's like busking for money with his, uh, his we other werewolf friend. And this is supposed to be like a subway, subway station. You can definitely, yeah, dev definitely full on that vibe. These are so creative. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And then up here is the genie dancer, kind of in the clouds with a, with a, a minifigure collector. When you get and a then, disco scene over there. Over here is the disco scene. Uh, that's with awesome. DJ, DJ Cheetah. Um, I like that. I use the I use those mosaic um, the circular oh. tiles from those the Beatles mosaic. They had a bunch of leftovers, so I was nice. Just, yeah, you that. Yeah. Um, the the disco cowboy. <laughs> it's awesome. In the saloon, <laughs> and then we got the um, the banshee, favorite. the banshee singer in the graveyard. Man, such great use of the old the things font. too, man. Yep. God, I'm so proud of you. This is uh, it's like a karaoke bar. Uh, <laughs> a, that's dope a, like a sushi sushi uh karaoke bar for the samurai rapper and then the um, i'm sorry the samurai rapper that is what he said that's awesome <laughs> samurai rapper <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't come up with that name that's the, that's the name of oh the, okay i thought you did like, <laughs> it's, it's the samurai rapper that's... and then the um, this is supposed to be like a 1980s jane fonda exercise <laughs> class feel it feel it 
So I I love all the colors you used in these. Just yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I was, I was well trying done. to get like the the same palette as the cost as the costumes. Yeah, you did well. So I'm trying to put everything <laughs> back. Awesome, man. Okay, camera's broken. <laughs> we really like where we were. All right, TJ, follow that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really done anything Lego this week except look at Bricklink. Yeah, but but I'm here. Yeah, flex tape. <laughs> nah, <Netflix> flexing. <laughs> do, do you find anything good on Bricklink? I have been browsing, thinking about buying some space related stuff. Okay. Oh, yes. It. It's, it's a mainly, trap. Mainly Galaxy Squad because I like that thing. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. What's wrong with that? It's from space. one Canadian to another. Hey. Well, you didn't. You, you didn't quite go from one kidney to another. You put a, you know a TJ in between us. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, not doing much myself this week, Lego wise. We're busy with some other things. Uh, we're working on some YouTube videos and stuff like that. So, kind of just you know, and work has been crazy busy. So, <laughs> that's about it. Good. I was drinking soda. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next on the. Um, yep, there he is. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the other half of tons of fun. It's just Jeff. I would like to point out that it's the other one third of tons of fun. Maddie is here, and it's not fair to discount her. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Maddie Fatty? Hey, Maddie. Whoa. Could it be two fists, two fists, one fist? I don't know. <laughs> So uh, I did. Uh, Jeff doesn't build anything; he just modifies old mocks. So, uh, and then you know he just never does anything ever. So he just uh, this is what I did. I just updated this uh, Militron type uh, theme that I'm doing. Uh, ordered a bunch of Jurassic Park torsos. That's what's underneath the body armor. And uh, yeah, so going with that color scheme and uh, realizing that I have way too many brick arms, like more than I thought I did. So that's fun. <laughs> like that's awesome but uh it's cool and uh yeah i uh, made the smart guns the way that i wanted to make them and they actually worked so that's even better how, how smart are those guns uh, I, i'd say they're clever yeah yeah clever I dig it. nice yeah a little clever yeah mm -hmm. nothing nothing groundbreaking or anything and uh i updated um the the gray fighter that i've been <laughs> holding on to for forever and i'm not going to show that because it's not done being updated okay uh, but yeah, Friday uh, Friday nights, nine o'clock uh, Eastern. Come join us for Eastern. Some fun. You can find you can find some heavyweights. Talking, <laughs> 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 playing with Lego, and then oh. uh, you do your mental health thing tonight, right? Yes, I do. That's going to be probably around ten o'clock e ten o'clock uh, Central, so eleven Eastern. I do it a little mm -hmm. bit late so that. I don't get, uh, in all honesty, I should just start making them into videos rather than doing them live because it's like really awkward when like you're doing it and some guy pipes in with, Hey, I just got this Lego set. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm sorry. So this is how you deal with suicidal thoughts. <laughs> so, so what is it you do, Jeff? I do a mental health, uh, checkup. Like I get you, Jason. So like I am, um, I was in behavioral health before I was a corrections officer. Right. And, uh, so I just give out like little hints and tips and like how to deal with your depression, how to live with your depression, <laughs> how to cool. move forward. And uh, yeah. And Is that uh, a live YouTube stream, YouTube stream. Yeah. Every Sunday around 11, like I said, PM to center or Eastern time. So yeah. Cool. That's so hit that, hit that, go subscribe to Jeff and hit the bell icon. So you can know when he goes live. That's good. Plus again, like I said, fatty's on Friday. Fatty's hey! on Friday. Where Jeff almost gets in trouble for copyright. There it is. I love it. <laughs> Could you call it Fatties and Maddie? Is that a, is that a thing? <laughs> no. I, I don't know. Would it be better if it was Maddie and the Fatties? Yeah, I it like it be. all. Yeah, you know, that's, fun. that's a singing group. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my wife would like Jeff to post in the chat so she can follow his channel. Oh, okay. Tell her mommy said. Okay, okay, Jeff, two things. I can't believe I haven't subscribed to you yet. I just remedied that. And I love the name of the episode from two weeks ago, Life in the Fat Lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Life in the Fat Lane. Yes, sir. That's how we get there. <laughs> the latest episode was uh, Fatter was, uh, oh, I can't remember. Oh, it was uh, it was right on the front cover. It's Bigger, Stronger, Fatter. That was the one that I yep. wanted to. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. We try over here. <laughs> yep. Well, you like how I'm taking credit for all of Jeff's ideas? <laughs> well, technically, I'm taking all the ideas from no effects, but we don't need to talk about that. That's fine. <laughs> tons Those of guys fun are too. cool. <laughs> tons, tons of fun, too, the fattening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, this is good. I got to start watching this. <laughs> uh, do all right. It's got to be like tons of fun, too, uh, electric fataloo or something. <laughs> yeah, that's eventually we'll get there. We're not there yet with our silliness. I'm going to post my link and it's not going to go through because I'm not a mod. Why are you not a mod? I'm going to fix that. Okay. Sorry, folks. We're going to fix that right now. All right, there's my, my link to my channel. It's hard uh, to find your channel because there's a lot, a lot of Just Jeffs. And well, my channel is not called up. Just Jeff. Oh, what is it called? Jeff McAwee. I've been trying to find it. Oh, your yeah. name. Gotcha. Yep. I found it. Yeah, it's name? it's just something that I did because I... Uh, uh, this is McAwee. I go off the rails about people sometimes and like maybe they don't need to see it. So uh, I'm trying not to do that lately. Hi. How's it going, there it everybody? Is. There's hey. the link. How you, how you doing? Good. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, Jeff. Hola. It's, it's uh, okay, Jeff. You can call me whatever you want. I mean, all right. Thanks, Canadian Papa Bear. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm remedying this right now. We it just go? went from 135 to 137. All oh, right, All right. Woo-hoo. I just think it's fun to do this stuff, and I like that. Like, even when I'm bored or whatever, I try to do a little bit of mock work on there every once in a while. But like sets and stuff, I'll, I'll do them. And uh, Captain Smitty or Deckhand Smitty, whenever I get enough mail to do it, which you know hasn't happened for a while, so that uh, personality hasn't come out for a while. So that's. That's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jeff, can I get you to say something in the comments, the public comments, so I can yeah, absolutely. make you a moderator? Yeah. Let me go back okay. to the channel because I usually don't have it yeah. open when we do this. Yeah, I understand. While you do that, we're going to go on to this guy and see what he has to say. I didn't hit, I hit the wrong I had button. I question first. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, and, and for Zoom, maybe answer because he has the set. What in the holy hell is this little thing on the back? Oh right, shit! I forgot that. Oh shoot, I forgot that. Um, you, I think you can put like a picture or you know, like a card or something looks, on there. It looks like it's okay. to hook, hook into another piece there. Like the, you know, you slide another one on top. I could have sworn they had them. a picture sticking oh. back there. Okay, it yeah. So I guess on the, I just thought that was part of the art. Oh, the no, there. It's, it's, a, it's, but it's a card stuffed in there. Okay, yes. it's, a, it's a paper holder. I see. Cool. I see. That makes sense. No function sort of. other than paper. I've tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. bound to be a Lego piece that fits. Yeah. No. That should be a mock challenge. See what you can do with that thing and make it look cool. Well, I got plenty of Scala. Nobody wants your Scala. <laughs> it sounds like some sort of disease. I had my scholar moved seven years ago. How I got my shot for my scholar. What? I got to go go check to see if I have scholar. It's going to be fun. I survived scholar. I got rid of my paradise and now I got scholar. <laughs> All right, Chris, you're up. Uh, so I built this cool little uh, robot I stole from a Japanese designer. I, he just nice. had it, it posted. So. It's a really cool little uh, thing, but the best part is it is about the teeny tiniest thing you can build and fit a fig in it. So, um, oh. what was the Japanese designer's name? At least I don't know. Google Translate translates it, but I, 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 I don't know. Chris, you're so southern; it's not even funny. Is that the mouth? Is that the mouth I had or the sushi eye? Sushi yesterday. So, and I went to the it it from from fish. Doesn't mean sushi. Or, Wait, wait, wait. Waffle House serves sushi now? No. I, I met uh, Mark Sandlin and his son yesterday, and we went down to Atlanta Brick Company. Scratching through the bins, I found a 6 by 24 plate. Oh, there. nice. You were, fired. Wow. you were so fired right now. How was is, how is it, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? What, the sushi? No, I don't care about dead fish. <laughs> uh, the, the Atlanta Brick Company. Uh, it's always cool. There, it's, yeah. uh, it's nice. We didn't stay but about an hour. I didn't... We just kind of scratched around. Jake wanted to look at a minifigure, and Doctor Doom was twenty bucks, and he was like, "No." And so uh, yeah. that's all. That's all we did. And then we ate, and then came home. So, but I have been building a couple of spaceships for Boon Builds contest. Um, so here is the, the finished wow. transport here. Uh, nice. YT fifty two hundred transport. 
Um, Very nice. Built a thing. I that, <sighs> and then I built a, a ship that I made up for Star Wars, which is that one is too. This is a Cloud City. Uh, I got a hard question for you, buddy. Yeah. Here's here it goes. Now, <clears throat> would you move your family if Lego offered you a job as a, as a designer in space? <clears throat> Wait, wait, would I move to space? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's what I thought, too. Yeah, like, yeah I'll move to space. I understand. Yeah, that's what I thought, Don't too. Don't worry. These people are Luddites. I get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> would I move my family to, to space. Billund? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, really? I don't think so. Um, but maybe. If we I could tell a commute, I would do it. But... Um, <laughs> Maybe I would consider it if after my son's done with college, maybe I don't know. Yeah. But I, I, I don't think my wife wants to live in another country. I don't I don't imagine, think and yeah. and my family's here. I mean I'm I'm kinda I have lived within twenty minutes of the same road in Georgia except for four years of my life. So that's you know, not always the best thing, Chris. No, I, I like it. So I know. But like but do they have Baptist in Billing? Yes. Yeah, probably so. Um, one of the designers of the original classic space line, um, I can't remember. He he died. Uh, he's one of the designers, and yeah, his obituary was really cool. It was like he loved kids, he loved toys, he went to church every Sunday, and loved his family. I'm like, yep, there's life goals right there. Boom, that's yeah. me. So um, huh. he was a really neat guy. So so a couple more ships. People are really like really impressed right now. Oh. Well, what I'm trying to do is my brother, my son built a rocket and it's behind me and it looks like that. So I'm good on it. Well, you know about them teenage boys. We got one thing on their mind. It's like strategic no. covering, huh, Chris? At least it's not red. <laughs> well, the funny thing is it's got four things at the bottom. And you only see two. I'm still offended by it. But anyway. Red uh, rocket. Red uh, rocket. Enough. The, the big question is, though, has your dog figured out yet about the door? No, well, yeah, uh, he. Although he's laying over there mad at me, so but yeah, he's figured out the door. Yeah, I was really mm. worried about your dog. He seemed really upset. I bought this at uh, uh, Atlanta Brick Company that's yesterday because I never fine. got one. So yeah. hey, oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. Wait, what, wait, why does the hands actual hands and not Lego hands though? Everything else well, is Lego. Dr. Hinkle, he designed it. Oh, <laughs> that's oh. why. <laughs> So did you want another spaceship? Is that what you wanted? Okay. Yeah, hey, one more. Another, at least one more spaceship. Oh, come on. You got two comments like, man, those are great. That's right. All here. right, that one is good too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Did you give it hands? I did. It's a worker bot thing. Oh, there's more money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cash your money. Here, the money. here comes the money. All right. The Simpsons Road Rage. So cool. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. It's a good game. Yeah. Yeah. I got it for the Xbox 360. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you playing a game while you're doing your show? No, no. I'm, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, no. Oh, I'm, I'm, really I'm, really I'm, selling, I'm selling video games on eBay while we're doing my show. I'm definitely not oh. playing Space Engineers right now. Don't worry. No, not at all. Well, Road Rage was on the original Xbox, right? Yeah, I th I know, but I think it's the pla I got platinum. I don't know. Well, oh. it's still, it's still an original Xbox game. Yeah, I I paid I paid two ninety nine for it, and I just sold it for five ninety seven. There you go. Nice. Profit. And they, they pay for shipping, so. Yeah. I get a cut step, of that, too. Step one, collect underpants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, what's going on? Eddie. Well, I just had um, a squid explode on me. Uh -oh. Oh, so Wait, yeah, I was wondering. I was, I was cracking out my old fountain pens, and one of them had a clog, and I squeezed a little too hard, and it kind of just... Mm. Mm -hmm. I had the same problem with a pet dog once. I squeeze yeah. a little too hard. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, what have you been working means. on? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, how do you oh, fall I, <laughs> I did get um, corrected, I guess, about something. What? What? In, in Lego. And I was like, what? And Whoa. then I was like, guys, come on. It was, was so it wasn't minor. me, was it? No. <laughs> Usually, what show? show someone someone sent me a message about Baron von Baron. 
yeah. and complained Baron von Baron didn't have his thingies. His pauldrons. Yeah. And then somebody messaged in the comments that Johnny Thunder had the wrong shirt on. So Johnny Thunder got his new shirt because I was using the red scarf for my gay archaeologist. And <laughs> <laughs> he's got a name too, though. <laughs> oh, the archaeologist? This one? Yeah, he's got a name. Yeah, whatever. He looked cooler with the red scarf. I mean, he does. It's your but, choice. You can have which, whichever way you want. Right. Yeah. right. When, when you're doing top 10 vintage minifig countdown, everything has to be correct. Everything has to be canon. Oh, That's every right. I, every time I see Baron Von Baron Von Baron, now I think of Carl Merriam. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Always, all the time. Yep. I don't. That's funny. Oh. I don't know who Carl Marion is, so I don't. Yeah. Carl Mar <laughs> he, made the, uh, he made yeah he made the Tower of Terror recently. Oh right, and he, oh. Cos and he cosplayed as uh, uh, Baron von Baron That's during so most of the interviews for it. It was great. Yeah. Oh, it was really well done. He's a really hey, nice Maddie. guy. <clears throat> that yep. Your Baron von Baron has his pants unzipped. I'm just going to tell you right now. The <laughs> hips, are, the are, hip are, are, the the hips are yellow. I'm just going to tell you. He's got his. <laughs> it's I didn't think about that. It's his weenus hanging out. <laughs> anyway, that was the really, yeah. Was yeah okay. I give you did, the did, did, preacher. I was gonna say, did Fazoom Junior have something to do with that? No, but I was like, I was like, I thought it was something wrong with my screen. I'm like, why is that yellow in between the oh? oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are no, these pants? Oh, sorry. No, you pants go. Pants. You talk. Wrong pants for him. I don't. Well, know. the legs are right, I think, but the hips are yellow, so that makes it look like skin. Yeah, I see. Like, yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's He's preparing. To be <laughs> <laughs> it, it reminds me of the old animated series X Men cartoon where Jean Grey's uh, costume would almost looked like skin color. Basically, it was. <laughs> yeah. You know that Anytime she got to put the scarf back on. Where Any, am I? Anytime she got hurt, it was a questionable <laughs> noise of pain, or is she? Uh, okay. okay. So, um, so to stay to put it back on the rails, who's going to Virginia, everybody? When is it? Um, June, August. First. She's in the first week in August. I thought they didn't uh, announce it yet. All I'll say, Brick Smith is border still closed. It will be for a long yeah, time. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm moving in May, so I doubt that I'll be there. Where are you uh, moving to? I'm going to move to uh, further into Oklahoma. We found a, a nice house that's in our price range. Thank and God that's over, right? Nice. Yeah, so now it's just everything else that comes with it. We're going to go get stuff inspected on the 30th. I love it. Cool. Does it have adequate Lego room? Uh, so here's the story. It's kind of funny. Uh, so this house belonged to a bunch of uh, hoarders that my <laughs> girlfriend, wife's uh, aunt knew, and she rescues people. She rescued these people. Blah blah blah. And so they're like, "We're gonna get rid of our house, you know, new start, everything else." And we're like, uh, "That's extreme, but okay." And um, I guess there's like 1,500 feet of square footage for like you to operate in, but everyone has been telling me the bedrooms are small, and I'm going, but how will I let go? And then I found out <laughs> that the garage has been converted into a master bedroom that's kind of shaky oh. and like kind of, you know, rinky dink. So I'm thinking we take two adjacent rooms, knock down the wall in there, throw in a bathroom in there, and then use the rinky dinky. Uh, you know, master bedroom garage is the Lego room. We'll see what well, happens. I like the way you think. think. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Making lemonade out of lemons. That's, yeah. right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's you, what you, I should, got. you should build a loft bed and then you can put your Lego <laughs> all around there. Exactly. Just <laughs> yeah, put a bed right up here. Because Jeff, Jeff is going to climb up into bed. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> No way now. It's, uh, my bed is already too high, and I think it's sitting on the floor. So don't tell me. <laughs> it's always one of those situations where, like, oh, we have to climb up that ladder to save ourselves. Oh, then again, run, folks. <laughs> have a nice. <laughs> See you later. What's TJ uh, pointing at? That's my bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get the wonderful lofted bed here. Is that a bunk bed? Yeah. No. He's a, he's a college student. Yeah. Okay. And, okay, and so, you, 
Do you use sleepy, would, sleeping bag for it too, or that would be my roommate's bed, but uh, I have a roommate. You don't so have one, which is nice. You guys are so close, you can hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> you ran him off, Julian. You wow. ran him off. What he's doing right now? When he turns the camera off, he's holding hands. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> What'd you say about his room? Or you said something about oh, I, I was gonna say that. Um, that's pretty thank you for college to build something like that. I mean, it's just like, like two by twos that they got from Home Depot and just put it up there with some plywood. I mean, it's solid enough. It solid works for enough. me. Is it enough. solid enough for two, though? Yeah, I was going to say, is there enough room for two people? Probably not. No, but that's because the ceiling is too close. Too yeah, skinny. Like, you, like yeah. you could hit your head on the ceiling if Lots you were to yeah. I've I've hit my head on the ceiling. On okay, it's college time. You're supposed to be making a lot of mistakes. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, but then my head hurts. <laughs> Not, it won't if you're making the right mistake. Oh God. Okay, let's put it back on track. Uh, why, um, why, why is Julian blushing? Yeah. I never went to college. That's why. Oh. I never learned to read. <laughs> we didn't say you had to be going to college. For, <laughs> I've been to college. <laughs> anyway, so any big plans for Lego? Um, apparently, pre-show, you guys are showing me something. Uh, I don't know what it is still. Oh, the, we're, we're talking asking. about the space thing no did we did we miss papa bear mm -hmm. nope no he just I, doesn't have anything going on I, I no, we, we, we went from one canadian to another with tj oh yeah, yeah. I think that was when my camera went all crazy. I, I, I think he, he's calling you canadian tj i mean there's worse things to keep calling you yeah <laughs> true late for dinner. How's, how's the walking going uh julian and oh my god um i walked a mile and a half yesterday which oh, was, wow. and in one fell swoop which is the most in the I've, heat yes yes it was like three o'clock it was about honest to god it was about 90 it was between 85 and 90 yeah uh, there was a slight breeze and uh, a very big hill oh wow i um I didn't do it today. I'm going to go tomorrow and I'm going to push through because we only have two weeks left and I've got I'm literally just over halfway done with it. And I what happens get, in two weeks? Um, this thing is, this is a set on a four week goal to go 26.2 miles. Yeah. Oh. And, and because of like, you can take as long as you want, need to, or want to, to do it. And it doesn't, it's not going to hurt anything. But because I'm so fat and so out of shape, I'm taking this as a, like, I must be done type yeah. of goal. I want to be done before the competition is over because my whole life, it's like, yep, I finished it, but it was done two hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, and oh. I'm, I'm not competing, but I started walking because of Julian and Jason anyway. I did a mile on Monday, yeah. 1.2 on Wednesday, and 1.4 on Friday. I like nice. how Jason and Julian get all of my press, and I'm not in there. I'm not even mentioning all of this. Wait, are you walking? Yeah, I'm walking like, like a madman. Yeah, oh, I didn't know. All right, yeah, I got to add him to our. Uh, I got to add sorry, him Jeff. to our encourage each other group. Oh, Jeff. Jeff. I, and I will say they're they're walking more than me because I'm not doing a mile a day. I'm just yeah. doing like around two blocks in my neighborhood, three times a week, starting with baby steps. And Absolutely, I'll be adding more later. Back when I was in the regular routine, I was able to do like I think I did like two two and a half miles every every time I went. God, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting mine up tomorrow. Good job, Maddie. Not to like one up anyone, but I'm doing <laughs> today. Where's the flex tape? Flex of tape. Work. Take a look at that number. Do you see hey, that? Oh, 11 11 twenty three thousand steps, eleven point two miles. Lord. Holy cow! Hey, Julian, Next when day. you were a corrections officer, how many steps did you get in a day? One million steps. <laughs> exactly. Had <laughs> to protect the artwork today. Oh, oh my god. Is that fun? <laughs> well, yeah, it was fun. Um, do you want to hear what happened today, though? That was it. Was like it was only my second job, right? Or sec second time. So this yeah. kid. He comes running and screaming through my gallery, so I'm in charge of. Was like, he on the escalator? Gallery. I'm sorry. No, but <laughs> he probably came from the escalator, and his hands were outstretched like this, probably as dirty as mine. And he runs up to stained glass window from the 1400s, oh. and he just Whoa. goes like this. 
Oh no! <laughs> Out on the <laughs> How do you do that? And it's painted. And I was like, oh no. Oh. And I'm like, I walk up to the kids, like rush over, I'm like, hey, no, don't touch that. And he's still doing it. And I'm like, mm. hey, don't touch that. And I did something bad. I, I grabbed his arm to make him stop. And I guess you're not supposed to touch the people. Nope. You're only supposed to well, grab your ear. To touch the uh, exhibits, though. <laughs> <laughs> right? And so then the conservator had to come because, you know, that's a pretty hefty, the way he was moving his hands up and down. And the conservator just stood in front of the thing and was just like, oh, oh, oh. Not like talking to me, like taking pictures and being like, oh, oh, no. Like, <laughs> like. Actually, you yeah. need to say you need to say the conservator. Give it. Give it <laughs> oh my god! You would drop kicked him without saying a word. Oh, and then when I talked to the parent, do you know what the parent? <laughs> the parent was just like, "So, wait, what? Yeah. Seriously? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. They don't get in trouble okay. because you know there's yeah, an understanding yeah. that some people don't understand how to be in an art museum, right?" <laughs> Well, I would say those people are not allowed in the art museum then. So there's the door, is what I Yeah, if, if it was my kid, I would have been dragging him by his one leg and been like, we're going home right now. <laughs> the first thing you they do when you walk in, do you know how to behave in a, in a, in a uh, museum <laughs> or gallery? There should be an educational video, you know, like how you go through TSA and there's the video where it's like, please don't be on your cell phone. Please don't do this. Please don't do that. Have one of those when you're walking through the entrance of the art museum. <laughs> so you think you want to go to an art museum? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when I went to laser tag, they had a little, uh, we had a, like a 20 minute video before laser tag where they taught you how to act inside there and what not to do. Maybe there should be that for the museum. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You should make it, make it a TikTok. That was there you funny. go. So that's the painting. Oh, oh painting. man, I wish I still had the. Um, well, I guess I have my art museum. Moto. Oh, oh wow. wow. Moto. That's going to be used. Is that twenty dollars for me? <laughs> <laughs> that's for your pain and suffering. <laughs> that's for your twenty thousand steps. Twenty three thousand steps. There you go. That's ten cents a step. Yeah. <laughs> Could use uh, that pay raise. Or oh. no, a tenth of a cent a step. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> I, I don't do math. <laughs> Apparently, I don't either. <laughs> never met him. Ma uh, hey, uh, Maddie, do you know what the phrase "snatch a knot in your head" means? Um, that would be what my parents would do to me if I did. In your head? Oh, like hit you in the head? No, Chris. <laughs> I always knew it as "snatch a knot in your tail." Well, head, tail, um, anywhere. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not uh, calling you wrong. I just know that the Southern vernacular, uh, it's different per region. Yes. yes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in other words, they would, they would, I mean, it would not be violent beating, but there would be corporal punishment for willful disobedience is worth corporal punishment. So. Every time. But surprisingly enough, like, there was adults who were disobeying the museum rules. There was an old lady who was leaning against the chest in my section. And I, you know, the alarm was going off, and I'm like, "You're still leaning against it." Like, that's not her too, man. Come on! Wow, <laughs> that, people just treat it like their own house. That, yeah. That's when we, that's when you pull up the That's when you pull up the phrase. Some people's kids. <laughs> yeah. Moto. What is the At this point, I'm delirious with exhaustion. <laughs> From your business trip? Oh, you know, you did business trip will wear you out. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kid in an aquarium that was beating on the glass with a whole bunch of fish in it. And, like, I grabbed the kid's arm and was like, you need to stop doing that. And the kid was like, what? I was like, you need to stop doing that. That hurts them. And then his parents came over and his dad was like, why are you doing this to my child? I was like, because he's beating on the glass with the fish. And the dad was like, so? And I just sighed and walked away. And Emily was like, what happened? Nothing. Nothing. Uh. People are doing um, Yeah, pretty much. So well, I guess. Uh, go ahead, Manny. Oh, I, was, I guess. I guess now I think this is going to be a great revelation for my TikTok page. I'm going to start doing Lego reenactments in my art museum. You're going to do what? I'm sorry, <laughs> darling. What? Lego reenactments of things that I've seen at the art museum <laughs> in my Lego art museum. That's it's good. fantastic. I love it. Um, it would be really stop, goofy. Stop motion of a little mini fig going like this on the glass. Yeah, but <laughs> first I'm going to have to modify the art museum so I can pull down 
you know, the back panels. So mm. that way you can, the camera can get better shots. Because right now there's no way. That's not going to work very well. Oh, you have an art museum? Yeah. Oh, Do you want to see right. it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's my one of my very first mocks I ever made. So don't judge. Hold Yay. on. Hurry up, Maddie. <laughs> Oh, is it the white? We're waiting on Maddie again. I mean, that's what we do, isn't it? I mean, that's kind of how that it goes. Cool. That looks cool. I mean, it's okay. Oh, my gosh. I almost dropped it. Oh, is good. That, is that canon yeah. to your actual art museum? Not really, but we'll we'll do it. Um, that's cool. So that's then great. the second floor is my favorite because of this art scene that's going on in here. We did little art. See, like there's dead bodies on the oh. wall. It's like, oh, so modern. A oh, a moped cool. flipped upside down. So modern. <laughs> oh, a... McDonald's art. So modern. You should put a banana on the wall. Oh, there is a banana thing. Wait for it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look, primary color banana. Oh, I like that. I like the banana one. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. pretty cool. And then we have the information desk guy. Oh, can you see him? Not what kiosk. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah I see him. Yes, guy. Nice. And some like modern stair stuff and a water fountain underneath there. Where's Where's your station? Oh, where I usually work? Yeah, in, in that museum. <laughs> in this museum? I probably would hide under the stairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the museum needs a PBN castle. Hey, that would be a cool idea. I'm I'll not against it. Consideration. You do what you want to do. I think it'd be cool. There is Put it in there. Another <laughs> It's a little dusty. Uh, and, and Julian, since I had this out near me for making a video for people who haven't seen it, here's this. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Little house, that's one of the houseboats that I made. Yeah, that's dope, babe. That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Nice. The same green is my favorite color. Yeah. Did you brick link all that sand green or you had it? Uh, I had most of this, if not all of it, because I had used a bunch of sand green in a hotel. One, the very first mock I ever did was a huge hotel okay. that used a ton of one by three um, sand green bricks. But that was that was fun. That was a fun Rick, build. Rick, dude, wants to know your channel. You can uh, it's just Dave Morgan, isn't it? Well, yeah, there's, it's, there's it's, yeah, Dave Morgan. <laughs> it's youtubecom slash c slash. Well, here I'll post it. Yeah, post it. Are you a chat. moderator? I am. Oh. Okay. I just caught oh. it. Caught what? Um, the Maddie Heim Museum. Yeah, that's pretty funny. And then Moto <laughs> said, you built that museum. I have not did that. Awesome. I did something that Moto hasn't done yet. Typically when Moto says something, you do. Hey, guys, I'm going to have to run. All right, All right buddy. All right. Thanks for, Thanks for having right. me. I'll be back. Thank you. You're nice, always welcome. Yeah. Nice, nice, to, nice to meet you and see all your stuff. Yeah, nice meeting you. There's more to see. It's just not out yet. Next time. Okay. Next time, maybe. Oh. <laughs> uh, are these, are these the Daves that you? <laughs> that was the Dave you're looking for. Yes. Um, you guys have done really well tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, short. Sure. Uh, oh, it's oh my then. gosh! It's it's already wow. Are we what have you been working on, Julian? What's going on? Uh, Julian, what, what have you been, I working, been on? working on? Did uh, you finish all your Lego movie sets? No, uh, no, <laughs> no. I still have um. This is um. This is Benny's spaceship with a dinosaur on top. Can't go wrong uh, with a dinosaur. We need right? we need to see you on the big screen. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. But, that's that's Benny spaceship spaceship spaceship. There is the the mech for um, rescue rangers or whatever. Still have not finished the sea cow, uh, mm. and then that's that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, sea cow's a pretty good set I hear. <laughs> huh? Sea cow's a pretty good set I hear. Yeah, sea cow. Yeah. If if I was a baby, I'm not sure I'd want to wear Lego diapers. <laughs> I, might hurt. Uh, I did do one thing this week uh, that you would appreciate. Picked up some more uh, retro games. Oh, Narc. 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 Oh. That was yeah. That was one of those I owned as a child. Super Dodgeball. Oh, I super. never owned Narc, but I played the hell out of it at the arcade. And, and just because you know, I was like, well, my kids will probably enjoy it at some point. Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. 
So, got to, uh, you know, slowly get a few more games that I'm missing here. So, <laughs> is that the same version of Little Mermaid that they turned into a Game Boy game? I'm like not sure. Classic actually. Game Boy. No, I'm not sure. I think uh, they came out about the same time, so probably similar. Hey, Canadian Papa Bear, when the hell are you gonna play Clans of Castlevania Two? Come on, man! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Castlevania Two. Oh, at some point, I, I should probably play that. Yeah, that game's bitching. Yeah, I've I've gone through Castlevania One, uh, not on stream, but uh, you know, but I've never played Two and Three, so I need to get on that at some point. So, all right, just to let you know, Two is garbage, and it's really difficult, but it's yeah. really fun too. So make sure. Oh, that hold on, Two is not difficult. I beat Castlevania Two two days after receiving it. I got it for Christmas one year, and I was kind of disappointed that I beat it so fast. You were able to go to this vague spots where you're supposed to use items and then go yes. from there with, wow. Like, I, I got it for Christmas. I played it all day Christmas and like all day the next day and then beat it. And I was like, hmm. I expected that to be longer because I still, to this day, have never beat Castlevania 1. I really? cannot beat Frankenstein for the life of me. Our trick doesn't right, work. Up, down, left, right, A, B, A, start. And then That's Castlevania awesome. 3, I got like three quarters away through that one. <laughs> what about Castlevania 64? That was a real gem. The heck oh, game was oh. terrible. I played it for like 20 minutes, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. I, bought, I bought that game, and I was like so excited to get it, and I, I think I owned it for about a week, and then I got rid of it. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> this is what it's like when you guys start talking about space. <laughs> and I'm well, disappointed well, that I, I never bought the second 64 Castlevania game because now it's worth a butt ton of money, even though it sucks too. Yeah, yeah. it's like my introduction to Castlevania because I I'd seen it when I was a kid, but I never played one until Symphony of the Night. And I'm a huge Metroidvania fan. Like I love I Super Metro, Super Metro before, uh, before. And so I was like, oh, this is awesome! I want to play the other games in the series. I'm like, nothing before and nothing after on the ma on the non mobile pl or the non. <laughs> Uh, portable uh, sides really did that. I'm like, yes, it was. There were some good Game Boy Advance and DS games, but oh yeah, those were great. Yeah, but they always tried something different, like on the big console, like on the Wii. They're like, here's a wannabe fighting game, and it was yeah. kind of terrible. And yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> super the Super Nintendo version of Castlevania. I think it was either three or four. four. That was perfect. Uh, super Castlevania four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. I actually. That was... I, yeah, I was playing that one on stream for a long while there. <laughs> That, uh, Remember the, the level where the, the levels would like rotate and move and you had to use the whip and then hang on to the thing yeah. while the level moved? Yep. Yeah. That <laughs> blew my little mind when I was baby. like, oh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, the brick separator to fix the. So, if you guys want to hear more about video game talk tonight, oh. join us over on Jason's <laughs> Twitch channel for. Uh, Shooty time. Shooty there you time. Go. Shooty time. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, That's so we go to play through GTA 5, talk about video games, Lego, and just all Zoom. sorts of fun stuff. For Chris Zoom. Smith, it's just usually you wondering when you guys are almost done. I got my <laughs> ice cream late. We, we start. We I'm like, hey, welcome, everybody. We just started. And Bertram was like, are we done? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, <laughs> shot the, really I, I shot the Canadian enough times already. <laughs> I do like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It um Did I call you up? Should I not have said that, Julian? Oh no, I was just waiting for Dave to go uh replace his face. Oh. It looked like he was what did what did you do to that thing? Put a jetpack on oh, the Oh you back. covered up the, you covered up the rocket awesome. ship. Yeah, I, yeah, I did. <laughs> there you go. That was my sensor. You don't, you don't have to. You don't have to be to the side anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we um. Birds. Oh, uh, real quick announcement. The PBN is moving, and I don't mean we're moving locations. I mean wow. we're moving. Yes, we're going to move down the road in a little while, but we're moving. Where? Nice. When we're, we're moving when? to a different day. We're, oh, we oh. have we. I have not decided when we're moving. Why is this happening? What's up, shy time? Because hey, shy. I've earned it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it it will not it will not conflict with anyone else's streams at all. Are you sure? Almost a hundred percent. All right. So it's not Tuesday, is it? No. Okay. It's not Thursday, is it? No. Uh, Friday. Are you gonna are you gonna name all the all the days? Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to. <laughs> well, 
what what happens Tuesday? I well, usually Tuesday. go live on Tuesdays and also other stuff. And coming it's, up soon, Tuesday cool. nine PM, there'll be a show on my channel. What 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 about the time though? Because it, it, that makes a difference for me because I'm on the West Coast. So, oh, same time, same time. Okay, same same bat time, mm-hmm. same bat time. same bat channel. Hey, I can't. Talk it's gonna about conflict with Brick here, Dude's channel. Hey, look, it's Dave. Hey. Oh, we got another Canadian <laughs> and another Dave. Oh, another Dave. Dave. I can't. Talk Dave's about about Hey, look, Dave's, I know, I know. Well, it's look weird. at all that color. Hey, Dave. <laughs> hey, you're gonna have to mute your other, uh, your other uh, page. You got a tab up in there. I know, I know. Hey, you're gonna have to mute your other, your other page. I know, I know. It's a cacophony. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed. <laughs> I don't know. Crazy. <laughs> all right, you have to day. Tell everybody who you are and what's going on. I am a professional. <laughs> Sometimes. Once in a while. <laughs> I fake it a lot. Yeah. How you doing? I'm Dave. Uh, not the other Dave. <laughs> or the other Dave. Or the other Dave. Uh, and I'm a Canadian. Uh, and Julian's been trying to get me on his feed for so long, but Sundays are usually busy for me. So uh, I saw the We're in Canada. Today and We're and in I'm Canada. a Lego adult fan of Lego. So Dave, Dave we, got, we, got, we got one of the Canadians asking you where in Canada you're from. Uh, I'm from uh, Southern Ontario, uh, the mighty thriving metropolis of Hamilton, Ontario. Ah, I'm close. Nice. I'm not. I'm all the way over in BC. So. <laughs> I'm in uh, Mississauga. My sister look, lives in BC. Look at all these Canadians. And Papa my Bear. girlfriend, my wife came from Mississauga, so that's perfect. Oh, nice. Papa Bear, if you're in BC, I could actually drive up and visit you. That's actually yep. not that far of a drive. Yeah. We might have to arrange that when uh, it, things get it, back to normal. Well, te- 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 technically, you uh, don't even need to drive. You can get on the Clipper and come over, too. <laughs> oh. Clipper. Yeah, who doesn't like a fun boat ride? Yep. So, Dave, what are you doing? <laughs> I am just because uh, I was actually inspired by Julian. Uh, I made these numbers on my cricket cutter, which look oh. remarkably like, where is it? This number here. <laughs> You froze. Because I have about 20 of these things, and they all need numbers. Hey. <laughs> so, oh, cool. nice. That's excellent. And I even made the circles, too. So I'm going to actually just put these, and I just did. Oh. That's awesome. How did I inspire? You said you, I inspired you? Woo-hoo, number one. Nice. Do you have, like, a go-kart track? Oh, no, no, no. This is, um, this is the uh, 854. I don't have them motorized at all. I just use these for displays at shows when they need a table filled. I have oh, it in the box nice. ready to go. Uh, all the various colors you can make of the 854 go-kart by replacing the blue with any other color that has all the right parts. So I have, oh my goodness. Oh, nice. <laughs> so every color that I could actually do. You don't have a Bricksmith rainbow one though. I have an orange one that's a rainbow one right now because orange does not come with a one by sixteen yet. So I have uh, substituted colors, and I nice. actually started a bright, bright orange. So this is as far as I got so far. The bright orange because they came All out right. with a one by sixteen, but they don't have one by fours or one by twos. So this is as far as I got. But it's waiting for them to release the rest of the bright light orange. That's the Chima one. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice color. It is a great color. Especially when you're trying to build something from 1977. It's a perfect color. <laughs> right. <laughs> right on, Dave. That's cool, man. Uh, that's Thank not you. all you do, but we are all out of time. That's, I just came by to say hi. Appreciate you, man. I want Hello. you to come back and like show us everything. Well, I'll have a grand tour of my room next time. Please. Yeah, that'd, yes. that'd be cool. That'd be I very would, cool. We would love that. But we don't have any time tonight because it's time to go because I got to poop. <laughs> oh, wait. Was I not supposed to say that out loud? You nope. knew you, uh, buddy. At, 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 this point, at this point, I'd be, be surprised if you didn't live stream it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be uh, poop, oh, poop my gosh. nation. 
Good night, everybody. <laughs> On that note, talk flip flop. I appreciate everybody for coming. You guys really, uh, you took, I was having an okay day and you guys just made it even better. So thank you guys so much. All the chat, all the folks. Uh, from all of us here at the PBN, we'll see you in about an hour over there on Shooty Time. Twitch.tv slash BrickBlaze. And thanks, Moto, for the uh, $20 uh, contribution. Oh, yeah, Moto. Yeah, thank you very much, Moto. Be fat. Thank you. Moto. From all of us here at the Pink Bucket Nation, all of you at home, remember, you got to love those bricks. Bye, everybody.